Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to bring you one growth stock that's down 38.4% off at the high that I think makes an excellent purchase for 2024. But not only am I going to reveal this growth stock, I'm also going to discuss the characteristics that make me recommend the stock or why I'm recommending the stock to begin with to justify the recommendation. I'm not just making it up. I'm going to show you the metrics that make the stock a buy. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's see what the stock is and why I like it so much. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so the stock I'm going to recommend here is the Trade Desk. The Trade Desk is down 38.4% off the highs reached in late 2021. Before I show you the Trade Desk's revenue growth, let me share with you the total addressable market for advertising. According to Statista, global advertising will amount to $874 billion in 2023. That was up by 6% from $826 billion in 2022. Their estimates suggest this figure will surpass $1.1 trillion by 2028. A growing share of that spending is moving to digital channels like YouTube, Google Search, and Instagram. Digital advertising totaled $522 billion in 2021 and is expected to reach $836 billion by 2026. It's understandable that digital advertising will grow to take a larger share. This type of advertising can be more targeted, focusing on a specific group in the population like 22-year-old male college students or 34-year-old females with children. It's also easier to measure the effectiveness of digital advertising. How many people clicked your Amazon advertisement and made a purchase? That would be informative. The companies that will benefit from this trend include Alphabet, Meta Platforms, Netflix, and Pinterest. Additionally, companies with popular websites like Amazon, eBay, and Walmart will benefit as marketers will seek to influence the purchasing decisions of shoppers. That being said, you can see the Trade Desk has a long runway for growth. It's trailing 12-month revenue of $1.831 billion is a small fraction of that overall massive market opportunity I highlighted earlier. Given that the Trade Desk operates in the digital advertising industry, that's all the more reason to be enthusiastic about the Trade Desk's revenue growth opportunities ahead. Additionally, after experiencing a declining operating profit margin, it looks like the Trade Desk has turned this around. You can see the Trade Desk operating profit margin over the last several years had been falling from a high of nearly 26%, all the way down to slightly negative here in late 2022, but it looks like it has turned it around and it has increased to 8.53% in the most recent trailing 12 months. Looking ahead, analysts have strong expectations for the Trade Desk over the next two years. What I have here is Trade Desk's revenue growth expectation for 2024 at 20.6%. Also for 2025, 20.4%. Now this is an estimate collected from analysts on Wall Street that follow the Trade Desk stock. They predict that this is the rate it will grow revenue over the next two years. This is the average estimate from the collection of analysts on Wall Street. So there are some that think the Trade Desk will grow revenue even faster, and there are some who think that the Trade Desk will grow rev revenue at a slower rate. For earnings per share, analysts expect Trade Desk to grow earnings per share by 11.5% in 2024, and 21.7% in 2025. So solid growth here for the top and bottom line expected for the trade desk. And given the total addressable market we saw and given the shift towards digital advertising, you can understand why analysts are optimistic about the trade desk stock.
One of my favorite things about the Trade Desk is its ability to generate cash flow from operations. You can see here the cash flow from operations at 37.17%, and that's up from the low of around 12% in 2020. And you can see a nice upward trend forming here for the Trade Desk, and 37% is excellent. That means for every $100 in sales that the Trade Desk generates, $37 turn into cash flow from operations. That demonstrates this company is not just going after empty calories. I refer to empty calories as businesses that grow revenue, but that don't lead to profits or cash flow. They're just growing for the sake of growing, right? That's not the case for the Trade Desk. Trade Desk is growing, but at the same time, that growth is leading to cash flow. It's turning into cash, which ultimately is what I want to see when I'm making an investment. I want to see companies turn sales into cash. That's the name of the game here. The Trade Desk's price to earnings ratio. The price to earnings ratio is an important financial metric I use to determine which stock is more expensive or if a stock is too expensive. Let me show you this example here. I have two stocks, one trading at a market price of $100 and one trading at a market price of $12. The one trading at a market price of $100 has an earnings per share of $2.58, while the other has an earnings per share of just $0.11. Cents. When we look at their price to earnings ratio, the one trading at a market price of 100 is trading at a price to earnings of 38.76, while the one trading at a market price of $12 is trading at a price to earnings of 114. So in this example, the one trading at a market price of 12 is actually more expensive because I'm, tr I'm paying 114 times earnings to purchase this stock. That means if the company was to pay me earnings per share every year as a dividend, it would take 114 years for me to receive my money back. Whereas the other stock, it would pay me back in 38.76 years. Now, there's a lot more to think about in this equation, but to simplify, that's an example that shows you why a company with a market price higher can actually be cheaper than a company with a market price that's lower. That being said, you can see the Trade Desk's forward price to earnings of 39.54. This is just about the cheapest you've been able to buy the Trade Desk stock going back several years. Now briefly, to begin 2023, you were able to buy the stock at a lower valuation. And again, briefly, for a moment in 2020, you were able to buy the stock at the current valuation. But I would argue that you're getting a better business now than you were at any of those points because the company has made more progress in growing market share, in growing cash flow, in growing its operating income. So you're getting the business at a better point than you were at those previous lows and you're getting it at a ch relatively cheap valuation here at a forward PE of 39.54. So for all of those reasons, I think the Trade Desk is one growth stock that investors can feel good about adding to their portfolios in 2024. If you liked the video you just saw and you want to see more just like it, please subscribe to the channel. I can't keep this channel free without the support of viewers like you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you and I appreciate your support.